Welcome back to the Hot Shots Nine Hole Cup Expert Division, hole number eight. Here I'm going to go over two options with you. The first option is a safe bounce up option uh, using it's recommended that you use a wind five ball here. <clears throat> As you'll see, this shot I don't have completely dialed in. Uh, it's the safe option, and I think that the rough bump is a better play. But for those of you that are scared of a skinny rough bump uh, or don't have a side spin four win four balls, this is an option for you to play. It can be played with a win four ball. You'll just have to tweak the curl as needed to get the ball in the hole. So you'll have to practice it a couple times and work out, uh, work out some wind angle, wind strength tweaks for this type of shot. But I'm going to go over it just so you know what the base starting position is. And uh, you can take it from there. So we're starting at P5 men club. P5 men. So I, I set up with a Zerk here. I got the red ring. It's not showing a Zerk, but I have a Zerk. And I place the red ring. Touching the bunker on the left at P5 min. The spin set is 3.3 backspin. One left spin. The adjustment is P3 plus 25% mid numbers. This sh and you want to pull with a 1201. Light 1201. Not a heavy 1201, but you definitely want to favor 1201. You don't want to pull any 59 on this. <clears throat> like I said... This shot is designed for a wind five ball. So as you see, I had a seven mile an hour wind here. I played this with the wind four ball. I'm going to miss it to the left because I had more wind and the shot is designed for wind five. So if you want to play it with a wind four, you'll have to tweak curls, spins as needed to get the wind four to drop. Or play it with a wind five will give you your best option at a drop, especially being a crosswind bounce up shot. Uh, the more wind you have, the more it's going to affect the bounce, the second, the third bounce, and the rollout. So I would definitely recommend you play this with a wind five ball. If you have it, they are in the shop right now. All right. So I'm gonna that is the safe bounce up play. P5 men, red ring touching the bunker on the left, 3.3 backspin, one left spin, P3 plus 25% mid sniper 10 numbers, okay? That's your option one, safe bounce up play. Option two, rough bump. So here, what we're going to be playing is P3 plus 20% max sniper 10 numbers. The spin set is 3.3 right spin, 3 back spin. All right. We're going to set up with the green ring touching the rough fairway line at the very bottom of the plus 7. So you can see I just click into the plus 7 from the plus 6. And I have the green ring touching the rough fairway line here. And we're right at the bottom of the plus seven. All right. So that's, that's your starting position. 3.3 right spin, 2.9 back spin. All right. 2.9 back, 3.3 right, green ring touching at the bottom of the plus seven. This one you want to pull with a slight 1201 favor. So you definitely want to have some 01 on this pull. And one click of right curl. There's a couple of wind angles. I'll replay it. I say a couple. There's, there's one wind angle that requires a tweak beyond that. I'm going to 
we'll play it again and I'll show you what I'm looking for. It's basically the left tree and left is going to be the headwind angle and you'll need to add one click of overpower for that wind angle only, right? The important things to note is the green ring touching at the bottom of the 7, the 2.9 back, the 3.3 right. Make sure you're pulling with an 01. Now, you don't want a crazy heavy 01, but you definitely want to be showing a 1201 on this pull. And as far as wind angles go, this is the tree I'm looking at, this pink tree here. If you are in the pink tree or to the left, that's the headwind angle, and that needs one click of overpower. Beyond that, all wind angles are one click of right curl. So anything to the right is still one click of right curl. It's still an 01 pull. You just don't need overpower over here. You need one click of overpower over here. All right? So it's a pretty simple setup. Really good opportunity at a drop. Does require 3.3 side spin and 2.9 back spin. Right? Make sure you're pulling with a 01. Hit perfect. Don't forget you tweak if it's needed. And hopefully you walk away with a hole in one here. Wish you the best of luck. Hope you get the drop. And we'll see you on the next hole.